who we have here. You didn't expect not <laughs> Gibby. <laughs> you always expect the superest of Gibbies, but not today. Super Gibby's not here. We got Super Patty over here, this way. <laughs> Super Patty. <laughs> and I am Super Maddie. And we are. Super Maddie, Super Patty. <laughs> we we bamboozled them. We bamboozled them. <laughs> They've been bamboozled. <laughs> Welcome in, everyone. Welcome in. Welcome to the showcase. And it would not be a Where Did All My Friends Go episode if I did not give you the most beautiful introduction known to man. Pat, hit him with that intro. Up, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Where Did All My Friends Go, a podcast about life in the music industry. I am your host, Patrick Tarnowski, and with me is my my pal, my compadre, Mr. Matt Reed. Pat, I'm the other way. The other way, yeah. See, I <laughs> see that's that's the problem with the uh, what with with the delay. I'm you know I'm looking at it and I was kind of hoping and I was waiting, that's okay. um, but I failed. That's okay. And that's okay. That's okay. You can't win them all. You can't come out the gate and just go. You know what? You're a winner. You can't because we are professionals always... here at the unsigned <laughs> pop punk Twitch world. <laughs> we have we the most are, prime. We technology. are so professional. Professional prime technology, which reminds me, give me one second, Pat. All right, we are already fixing mistakes we made the first time. Because if you did not know, this is the second episode of the showcase. If you didn't know, the showcase is where we have six brand new bands um, who we come on, we ask some questions, we're doing it live on Twitch. So if you are watching the replay, first off, welcome, thank you for watching the replay. <laughs> second off, you missed it, you missed the live. Twitch.tv slash unsigned pop punk. Now, always be here. And if you're not watching, if you're one of those people who listen on Apple Podcasts, you wouldn't know that we have props. We have props. It is the second episode. <laughs> <laughs> it is the second episode. I have a giant mm. number two if you're watch if you're listening. And that's not for our second anniversary or no, anything. No. That, that's second episode. <laughs> it's the second episode. You don't even know what's going to happen here at the unsigned pop punk Twitch world because I don't know what's going to happen. There's another, there maybe a number, another number two. I promise you, you one know. thing though. I have my Tums or my, my Pepto, so there won't be any of those number twos tonight. <laughs> nice. Uh, so, speaking of the showcase, this is a special we're doing. So, um, if you are watching this live, you'll be seeing this. For the first first time, this is special. But if you are listening to this later on on our podcast or watching it on YouTube, guess what? This is the second part of our bar down special. So this will be a bar down breakfast. You know, this is a fest over in North Carolina. It's going to be awesome. Make sure after you get after you check out this episode, go get your tickets. Go get your tickets. And go and and be there because you're gonna want to be there. Uh, Unsigned Pop Punk is lucky enough to be one of the sponsors uh, of the of the fest, and we're super super stoked. We're super grateful, and we're excited to do this special. So, without further ado, Matt, should we bring in the first guest? One second, Pat. I just want to make sure before we move any farther. Can you let us yes. know in the chat? Can we? Can you hear Pat? Everything sounds good. We good. Otherwise, can you hear that would have been really awkward for you just to be staring at me. At no point has uh, I have you been able to hear me <laughs> at all. Just okay. let me know in the chat. I know. Sounds good. Awesome. Sounds good. Awesome. Sounds good. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you for lurking. Awesome. I Great. love lurkers. That's the best. I just would hate. I would have hated to do this whole thing and have only my commentary on it. <laughs> that's fair <laughs> awesome let me know if any at any point you need to have the bands louder or me louder or whatever let me know at any point in the chat oh sounds sexy yeah now, says, bar. says the the kings of bar down themselves now pat before we jump into that first band is is this the second bar down fest this is this is year 
dose. Isn't yeah, that great? Because the, we that's have what, that's actually what this balloon is for. We have a giant number two because it is the sec, it is the second fest. It's backwards. It's backwards, though, man. It's backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see what I did there? Look at that. It's universal. And you know what? When it when they come back, it's the fifth year now. Because <laughs> <laughs> we'll still have it. We'll still have it. Matt'll never get rid of it. I'll never get rid of it. It's 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 memorialized right here. It it it, it ruined my my uh my chalkboard. That's okay. Yeah, it's true. But you know, anyway. it was a very great second anniversary party. It, it, I got and I got more chalkboard paint, so we're we're good. But Matt, question is, do you have any hams with you? Oh man. Um, I got Matt. Trulies. It, it, Where's I, your hams? I, I got Trulies because. <laughs> Because not sponsored, but Pat loves the Margarita Truly, so I got Margarita Truly's. Did do you still have some hams? Uh, I uh, I bartered the last last uh, thirty rack away. <laughs> I bartered with my cousin, who's an exterminator. <laughs> nice, that's fair. That's fair. That's a good. That's a good barter. Okay, Matt. Are let's we do ready? this. We're gonna bring in our first guest here. We're just gonna pull him on in. Uh. American Theory, super stoked. Um, none of them are going to be prepared. We're just pulling them on in. They're just going to be like, Beautiful. "Yo, whoa!" And Daddy Bardown, Daddy Bardown's watching the whole time. Daddy Bardown's watching. <laughs> Daddy Bardown's watching. <laughs> awesome, Pat. Do you want to pull him now that you know? Do you want? Do you want to do the honors, Pat? I got it. All right. There are. I didn't know I could just pull. Just do that. Uh, this is well, this is new. <laughs> Welcome in, American Theory. You're going to have to turn your camera back on. There I they go. They got you. it. Oh, well, look at that. Get it? We can hear you. That wow. was so smooth. That was like way smoother than our uh, the first the first guest of the first special we did. That was very awesome. nice. Right on. So, Getting right in there. What you want to hear. <laughs> That's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. I'm proud of you. I'm very proud of you. <laughs> you should be proud of yourselves. I mean, we are, we we are. Are. I was awesome. really, I was really nervous. I was really feeling it. Um, <laughs> so, feeling it in your loins. Trying to be a part of it. Oh awesome. yeah! Welcome in, guys. We're excited to meet you. We're excited to to grill you with some questions, and excited to see you at the the bar down fest. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be a lot of fun. We're stoked. We've been looking forward to this for like a while. I think Christian told us about it um, once in advance, like last year. Like, yeah. I think. Yeah, like last fall, maybe in the summer. Mm -hmm. So, a lot of long time coming. So, yeah, awesome. Hell yeah! So we'll just kind of get into this, and uh, we'll we'll go with the first question here. Was describe the band in ten words or less. Ooh, um, count them out. No cheating. I'll count what you. Think all right. I'll think. <laughs> um, bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, ass, stuck, <laughs> frat, um, incubus, we like incubus. Yeah. Um, we were on a a radio, um, like a undiscovered artist segment on the on the Greenville radio station. I can't yeah. remember which one it was. Yeah. Um, and one of the reviewers was like. Um, you know, they, they remind me of Incubus, and that's bad because I hate Incubus. <laughs> <laughs> they said, I don't care for Incubus. You know, like, <laughs> oh, I don't know how to interpret that, you know. Um, it's probably more than 10 words. Yeah. Well, so, yeah. at that point, but I think you stopped at like six for Incubus. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and, then, uh, and then you went on an Incubus rant. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That <laughs> sums it up better. Like, I don't even know if yeah. 10 words. Those two so, are fine. If six, Incubus. Six Post words. One. Six words. We don't even need ten. We just, we, we just that's, need six. That's how, that's how great they are. They don't even need ten. Six. Yeah. <laughs> Love I support it. this. So, guys, most music reviews end with a four fans of section. Name three established bands that you would put in that section, not Incubus. Oh, okay. I would <laughs> definitely... You're okay. If you're a fan of Emery, you'd probably be able to get into it. Yeah. Okay. Definitely Emery. Um, I'd say for some some of the newer stuff, um, maybe one of the Swancore bands. Mm -hmm. um, 
any you know any of those i think we listened to a lot of them when we were writing the newer stuff mm-hmm. um so some of that i think comes through and then i think of the third one um there's been a lot more kind of electronic and maybe like edm kind of style okay and lately kind of bordering on like cyber pop if that's even a thing like trying to get into <laughs> yeah. the catchy but modern almost digitalized kind of sound yeah our first album was definitely like all just it was vocals guitars bass drums like it, was, I was, it was pretty raw it was just just the instruments and then like, and you know the newer stuff we're doing <clears throat> we're we're adding a lot more layers to it i think just trying to mess around with mini stuff mm-hmm. nice I, it was far to say that on the first album we kind of did the layering like vocally like there was so many yeah. harmonies and doubles and just vocal layers that were going on that it was like if you start adding in those you know synth so layers yeah, fun, yeah yeah but instead of because that's very hard to replicate live all those vocal layers you know you play a synth and you have macbook play the synth yeah you. yeah your synth yeah. player yeah fresh um, so yeah, I'd say Incubus, a Swan Core band, and then, uh, you know, Bring Me the Horizon, you oh, know, right. Northland, somebody like in that, you know, that heavy, that, that metal, but with the electronic on top. Nice. Nice. Now, this, this next one's going to be a bit harder because you're, you're all in the music mindset. We're, we're going to pull you out of that. Cause one of the things we do on our, nor, uh, on our podcast, normally we love to ask food questions. So now your band's name is now a signature dish in a restaurant. What is it? And be dis- as descriptive as possible. It's, it's got to be like a giant, a giant burger. Yeah, like, you know, American, it's American theory. Like yeah. or like just like, like American bar food. So maybe like a burger. Like honestly, a, I was gonna say, like. Abachi chicken and steak. <laughs> <laughs> Abachi meal, because what's more American? That's excellent. Yeah. Um, and that used to be our main source of nutrition here in the first time. Oh, yeah, that's true. Of that one spot all the time. We ate a lot. Yeah. It's like a little, um, it's called Nagoya in, um, in Clover, uh, Clover, South Carolina. We used to eat there probably like at least twice a week after yeah. the recording session. So, yeah. Probably in spirit of that, it would be yeah, hibachi chicken. And it was either that or McDonald's. So I'd say probably hibachi with, and instead of rice, you have a side of fries with ketchup, and that would be our signature dish. And like that battery acid Sprite. Yeah. Or, yeah. or a Baja. All right. <laughs> there you go. Hell yeah. I support it. I could get like some McDonald's fries. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice. Man. I've already wanted to check you guys out. We got McDonald's fries, hibachi, and incubus, apparently. <laughs> all, uh, I love all the it. Here. Yeah. <laughs> so this is a two-part question. First, we want you guys to name your three favorite bands, three of your favorite bands. Individually or collectively? Either you way. You can do individually. You yeah. can each pick three bands. Okay. Go first. Nerd All right. <clears throat> um, I guess recently I've been listening to a lot of uh, North Lane. Like, even getting into their deluxe album, like a lot of the instrumentals, like, kind of, I don't know. I've just been very much into like the electronic elements that they've been bringing in. The kind of disco, you know, very repetitive, you know, almost drum sample kind of beat that you have going on. But then there's just like, it's more soundscapey than, you know, melodic at the point that they're at. And I just think it's very cool to have metal be represented in that context. Sure. Another very heavy, like, electronic influence I have would be Suicide Boys. Okay. I, I love a lot of their production. I'm always showing them, like, Suicide Boy songs I like, and they're like, I get it, but okay. Like, I don't think anybody's on the same page as far as that goes. But so, yeah. Um, man, I had a good third one, but I forgot. Uh oh. Uh oh. What else? Or flying. Just, just that. Just. Yeah. Thank you, this. 
Uh, <laughs> there's one more. Oh, I'll see if I'm angry by, right. by the end of yours. My three, I would say Breaking Benjamin. I listen to a lot of them growing up, and I still do. Um, okay. uh, Bad Omens. Um, just like the new album. It's just like kind of kind of like North Lane, mm-hmm. like electronic stuff. It's very like sexy in a way. Wait, like, Breaking like, Benjamin has a new album now? No, uh, Bad Omens. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I was like, what? <laughs> And then for third, um, I think right now, um, I'm going to say Sleep Token. Um, I haven't listened to them very much, to be honest, like probably in anticipation of the new album coming out. I I saw it showing up on my social media stuff a lot, so I checked it out and... um, it definitely was something that like I didn't really care for at first, to be honest. And then sure. it just took for some reason. Like it took me a, a little bit, I think, to get it, but yeah. um really, really digging it. So Yeah, yeah. that that is a, a major obsession of Super Gibby's. <laughs> <laughs> right on. I remember my put... and it's right. knocked, well... knocked loose. Yeah. Oh, loose. knocked loose. There you go. Hell yeah. It took me quite a while to get into them because I was yeah. hate first and then i came around and you're a big one of my favorite bands <laughs> nice now i did say this was a two-part question that was part one. Second part now you have to lose one of them forever forever <laughs> but uh, cut uh, who's getting cut who's getting cut that's tough uh, i would say <laughs> Probably sleep token just because they've only recently entered my list. Yeah, I've survived without them that's thus fair. far. So <laughs> probably that. Probably yeah, that. That's fair. That's fair. I, I feel like I should say not to loose, but I'm going to say suicide boys instead. Nice. Like, there you go. I'm I, I'm proud of you for keeping that knocked loose in there. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> you, hell yeah! Wow. So this ten minutes has gone by so fast. It's crazy how fast this goes. Yeah, it's, it has been ten minutes. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna give you, we're gonna give you a couple more minutes. Let everyone know why they should be listening to you. Share your links. Where can they find you? Why everyone should be listening to us? Yeah. Um, just you know, we're we're a small band, but we enjoy making music, and we do it to you know reach a lot of people. Um, we don't really. I think we started out doing it for ourselves because you start out and you want to jam with your friends. But um, after playing live and after getting feedback from people that they enjoy our stuff, like that's really what fuels it. So yeah. you should listen because we want to we want to do it for y'all. Um, and you can find us. We're on Spotify, Apple Music. We're on all the music platforms. Um, Instagram is at American Theory. Yeah, most of yeah, just about all of our social media is like at American Theory or something. And then from our Instagram bio, and even if you just type this in, um, oh, you don't have our band account logged in. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. Just... So yeah, if you go to linktr.ee slash American Theory, that'll uh, that'll pull up everything that you uh, that your little heart could ever desire. It's, desires everything anything. everything american <laughs> theory <Love> yeah <laughs> if you just pop yeah. that we just pop that into the twitch whole whole uh bushel of of link tree yes yeah, so wonderful if you're, if you're watching live on twitch right now i just put that link in there so click that make sure you give these boys a follow if you are watching listening after the fact first off come listen live it's a lot more fun <laughs> second off uh make sure you check out american theory Go to their Instagram. Like they said, in their bio is that link tree. Yeah. Hell yeah. Make sure you go get tickets for the Bar Down Breakfast. And uh, yep. go, wa- go watch them. And make sure you click the link for every other band that hops on this podcast or else. Yes. I swear to God. Yes. Oh, well, we will. We will oh, yeah. They're going to go incubus on your ass if you don't. Yeah. <laughs> Bad incubus. <laughs> they're going to peacefully right. rock. <laughs> awesome. Right? All right. Well, guys, thanks so much for hanging out. Thanks for coming on uh, and, and chat with us. Feel free to hang out uh, and chat and, and just kind of you can hop into on Discord and chat with everybody. You can share links. You can do whatever. So feel free to hang with us. Right on. Thank you all so much. Thanks. No problem. Thank you. We'll uh, We'll chat with you later.
Yep. Let's see. Have a good rest of your stream. Thank, Thank you. you. I did it. Now I just. Oh. oh. Do I not? No. Did I? You're good. You're good. Awesome. Good job, Pat. I didn't, wasn't sure if you were going to do it or I was going to do it. So. <laughs> we kind of both. I figured did it. that was a me thing. I figured that was up to me. You 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 put that responsibility on me, and yeah. I didn't want to let you down. Super Gibby's gonna be so proud of you. I, you know what? From the rest of the stream, you are Discord master. I'm not gonna even look at it. Really? You're, bro, okay. not, you're, I got this. You got this. Gang, y'all got y'all got faith in me. I, I can do this. Now, let us know in the chat. Do you have faith in Pat to master the Discord? And what do y'all think of my new Cheer Up Dusty shirt? It's, it's Rocky oh, Balboa. It's beautiful. It's great. Chillin' Ruth Ren says she has faith in you, Pat. <laughs> yes! Yay! You have Believing my, in me. My wife and my sister have, <laughs> have your... Have your uh... Well, I, I appreciate both of you immensely. Do you like my... You're, you're beautiful people, and uh, thank you. Do you like my Lawrence shirt? Dude, Lawrence Crow illustrations what a what a what a boss yeah before we lows crow before we pull them in if you like this shirt if you like this logo if you like that logo by pat reach out to lawrence low laws crow illustration Lo, lows crow <laughs> l-o-z lows crow lows crow illustrations he does all of our art he also this is his shirt if you need need a designer make sure you Reach out to them. He's the best. He's a great human being. We love him to death. Awesome. Man, that was fun. That, that was, was cool. Fun. That was, went smoothly. I'm proud of us. I'm, I'm proud, proud of you, Matt. I'm proud of you, Pat. You're, thanks, buddy. So, should we bring in the, the, the next band? Should Let's we go for it? Do it. Okay, so the next band we're bringing in is Condado. Condado. Here they, let's go. Let's bring them on in. Pull them in. Oh, I don't know if they're ready. Welcome. I don't know if they're ready for us. Welcome, welcome. Make sure you turn your camera on. Oh, they didn't want to join. <laughs> they weren't ready, Pat. You pulled them in too quick. <laughs> Did I pull them in too quick? Should I pull like them in again? Year and a half. Oh, they're back. Welcome in, guys. <laughs> well, I did that. I brought them in. <laughs> can you see us and hear us? We can hear, we can you. hear you. Cannot see you. You just oh, got to turn on the camera. There, you go. there it is. There you guys are. Welcome in. I told you. You just... You just it's just being ready, just being prepared. You're ready. You're ready. It's just weird. Yeah. <laughs> I know. It's just like, oh, oh, we're in. Let's go. Pat's super excited right now. He's controlling the Discord, so he's gonna, he, he's gotta, you he gotta be ready for the draw because he's just gonna draw for you. I know. See, I told everybody while while we we're sitting there, chatting, I was like, I am not Twitch Master. I am. I wouldn't even consider myself ranked third on the list. Like I'm third. By no other choices. So, <laughs> awesome. uh, so yeah. Welcome in, cool. guys. Welcome in. How, how's it going? Where you guys are also? Are you from the North Carolina area also? Yeah, we're from. Uh, well, us two. We live in Ashboro. The other two live in High Point, and they they weren't able to make it tonight. But no worries. Awesome. Well, how's how's the weather down there? It's beautiful up here in Minnesota. It is. It's a really nice day today. It's hot. But it's a nice day. Yeah, last week was weird. We had like temperatures like in the fifties, like steady throughout the week, and it was like super like clammy and cloudy. But oh. now it's finally back to like, you know, pre summer weather. Nice. So. The, I, this is uh, this is probably the warmest, like, pre summer we've ever had up here. So. <laughs> Hell yeah. It is. Well, believe me, I've heard. I've got a friend up there that in Minnesota, and he's a he's a canoe guide, and he's like always out in the wilderness mm -hmm. doing crazy shit, and like you know. He's, he's like, it's so hot. <laughs> he's yeah. used to being like freezing all the time. Yeah, I mean, I am I do not have any air on. I'm I'm sweating. It's hot. <laughs> hot to me. All right, Matt, should we get them? Should Let's we get some questions it. here? Let's jump in. All right, first question for you all. What is one thing you would want everyone to know about your band? How to spell it right. <laughs> fair. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. No, I mean, we, we crack jokes all the time about how, and shout out this band, we love them, but there's bands in North Carolina like Zephyranthus, and people can spell that, but people can't spell fucking Condado. Condado. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it is what it is, but um, I think besides that, I think uh, something I'd like for people to know is that, you know, we kind of prioritize and really 
appreciate deeply who we are as people and the diversity in the band and how that's a beacon for people and how we've had people come up to us after shows and been like, yo, like, it makes me so happy to see people like me playing this kind of music because, you know, growing up, I kind of got made fun of for listening to it or whatever. Yeah. And I, I want to see more representation like that. So we really, you know, pride ourselves in that because <coughs> we didn't have a whole lot of it growing up and we're starting to see it more and more, which is a cool thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. Love it. Um, let's say you are playing with a show with a touring band. Uh, from uh, that's coming through your area. What's the late night hot spot you recommend that them to go post show? Post show. Mm. They don't really get out much like that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it depends on the. It depends state. on where we are. Okay, uh, like I guess maybe a food spot. Like where where where's the? I mean, everyone can go to Taco Bell or McDonald's, but. If you're yeah, like, I'd say it's a local if, spot. If, if you're yeah. playing either, either if you're playing either Cat's Cradle or Local Five Hundred Six, like in the Chapel Hill Carborough area, um, that one taco truck around the corner that stays open till like two or three in the morning yeah. is really, really, really good. I forgot what it's called, but you know, authentic Mexican street food. It's like right off Franklin Street. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah, that's a cool spot. Hell yeah, I you, you can't usually go wrong with a good good taco truck. You can't. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. What is your guys' song uh, writing process like? Mm, I would say that nowadays someone in the band just comes up with a relatively, like, I'd say 50 to 60% like fleshed out idea. And it's either like a yay or nay, let's jam on it. Or like, I don't know if I'm feeling that. Or I don't know if that matches like the song for like the upcoming record that we've got or whatever. But usually somebody presents either a pretty thorough lyrical and melodic idea or a riff. And then we kind of just fill in the gaps from there. It's become a lot more collaborative over the years, whereas the really, really old stuff, a lot of it was like written before people were kind of recruited in or okay. whatever. But okay. I would say that we definitely prioritize kind of making music that kind of scratches the itch that we have for something that's kind of like, a certain sound or a certain rhythm, certain groove, because we really prioritize like the the rhythmic aspects of that, sure. and um, we just wanted to be catchy regardless of what it sounds like, because we want everybody to kind of discover this pop punkish, emo ish kind of realm of music from around here. Yeah, and we try to be catchy. Try to like we try to make music that we want to hear, and mm -hmm. the other thing for me is the song structure is really important. Um, because the you know the the typical pop rock song structure is not really what we 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 use it a lot, but we kind of tweak it a lot too. Yeah, we we have a lot of songs that like have a chorus and never look back. We have a lot of songs that have a whole instrumental back end or front end. Like we really, you know, and we also weren't we're not a fan of long songs. We like to keep things kind of concise yeah, like, because yeah, that was like. You know, we we want to keep the listener engaged as much as much as possible, and you know, I feel like one of our strengths is writing like complementary parts or sections to the song, where like the riffs kind of call back to a different moment in the song, things like that. It's those little details that we really enjoy. Awesome, mm -hmm. that's awesome. Yeah, because I mean, having a song that's like you know, even getting over four minutes can be too just too long. Yeah, yeah a lot of our songs are probably like two two and a half two and a half minutes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. Nice. So to support that. So we are, um, you know, part of the, what we're doing with this is because it's the Bar Down Breakfast Special. Um, obviously, that's a live event. That's a live show. So what sets your live show apart from other bands? Um, we are very, very tight and together. I think that's the main thing that we gather from people's opinions after the set. Uh, three of us are, you know, classically trained percussionists, like drummers. Yeah. And um, we really enjoy moments where everyone's doing their own complimentary thing and then it kind of just gets tunneled into everyone playing something that's like super in sync and locked in. And I just want to see people move, you know. I want people to feel the same kind of like rush I'm feeling from just that synchronization amongst my bandmates. And yeah. um, I think yeah. the, the overall tightness is probably what sets us apart. Love it. Love a good type. Good type band. Um, 
Now we're gonna we're gonna switch up just a little bit. For you, you're all in the music mindset. We did this the last, you know, American Theory as well. Now we're gonna hit you with a food question. Which fast hey. food chain has the best value menu? Probably Taco Bell. Maybe I don't know. What do you think? Taco Bell or McDonald's? Yeah. I don't know. We're, we're, we're Taco Bell kind of. Yeah, people. we're Taco we, Bell. We pull it up and just getting <laughs> all okay. the two dollar things. You know, it's just like it three one dollar burritos. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> nothing wrong with that. I <laughs> love Taco Bell. Like Taco Bell is my go to fast food. Me too. We also Never don't know. like you know have anything special like you know In and Out or Whataburger or <laughs> any you know uh, cookout. You know, there's a lot of things we don't have. Cookout. Look out! When you have a value menu. They're getting more expensive, though. Yeah, they are, but the, I would like, say the, the, the concept of the tray and all the options you can mix match on the. Tray I would say. Sick. We played a show in Pennsylvania, um, once, and we must have stopped at Cheats. Cheats seven, or, seven <laughs> or eight times within like two days. So good, and, it... and that's like the cheapest food. Right. <laughs> that, you know, that we could find two hot dogs for a dollar. Mm-hmm. It, it yeah. sheets shouldn't be as good as it is. It it really shouldn't. <laughs> Love sheets. Awesome. Matt, have you ever been to a sheets before? I don't think I have. I went to a Wawa once in Pennsylvania, but it's not the same. Maybe that wasn't. Pen- I don't remember. I don't think we're so. apparently gonna get some Wawas down here, and everyone's like, "Sheets gang." <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean Wawa's good. Like a lot of people really like Wawa, but I'm a sheets I'm a sheets person. We have yet to venture to a Bucky's. I'm sure that'll that'll be a cool experience. I have been to a Bucky's and it's it, it, it's pretty impressive. Mm-hmm. The, the chat's saying White Castle that we have that in Minnesota, and I do. We don't have White Castle here. Yeah, we got like the the in the freezer kind. <laughs> it's not a lot different. <laughs> I love me some White Castle though. I can't. I can't. I, I, like I enjoy some White Castle myself. You got bombs. Want to try it. Never tried it. Now, I've had Whataburger because I've been to Texas before. And that was cool. Never had In and Out. Never. In and Out is amazing. It's so good. It's the it's the best. But that's a that's a whole different conversation. <laughs> All right, we got another question for you. So. It's kind of a long one. One of, one of your members has to leave the band, but they can star in any movie. So they're leaving the band because they're starring in any movie. Who's leaving, and who is their, and who is their co-star love interest? Bruh. Um, <laughs> that's so specific. And not would know this better than me because he watches the most movies. I don't. I don't watch it. Um. <laughs> Goodness. Who's starring in that romantic comedy? Who's gonna leave? Who leaves? We'll just say that you leave. Just I leave. You've got all the all the the Hollywood honeys because you know all the <laughs> music. You know anybody? Um, <laughs> who's your Hollywood honey then? <laughs> it's Jack Black, isn't Man. it? Hey, he's up there. Hey, me. <laughs> Jack Black would be love. my Hollywood honey, one hundred percent. We love Tenacious. Oh yeah. Um, Putting them on the spot. I don't. I. <laughs> what have I watched recently? Um. <laughs> he 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 would star in a sequel to Ex Machina and be with the robot. I don't even know. Who <laughs> <she is. laughs> I support that decision. I would get I would get my heart crushed by uh, an AI. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in, in, in her too with Scarlett Johansson. There you go. Oh, there you go. There you go. <clears throat> Arguably a better um, answer than the robot. But... <laughs> <laughs> if you won the million dollar Powerball, what would be the first thing you spent your money on? Fast boat. A house. <laughs> a house. Built from the ground up with a studio, studio inside. Yeah, that's yeah. the real answer. But I just, I just be fishing. Yeah. <laughs> you can do both. You can do both. <laughs> a house and and a and a boat. I like it. I love it. Because yeah, we we're we're currently in an un- this is like in his basement, which is like like Pendado HQ recording space where we recorded everything I've done, the most recent record. Um, and 
Yeah, it'd, it'd be nice to have like a dedicated facility with like a live room. Dedicated live facility, room. a live room, a controller, like a guest house. Yeah, like the dream. That'd pond. be awesome. Pond in the, the pond. Back. Yeah, yeah, pond. yeah, we're we're you know we're into all the emo shit, but we're also like kind of kind of hee So a little bit. So we like you know a house in the middle of nowhere type vibe. Type yeah. vibe. I love it. Hell yeah, I love it. So you guys got two minutes left of your time. Let everyone know why they should be listening to your band. Share your links. Where can they find you? Um, you know, you can find us on any social media at C O N D A D O N C. That's Condado N C. Uh, we put out a record where we re-recorded all of our old music from the past five years and put it on one big album called "Everything I've Done Is Not Enough." Uh, if you want to hear kind of our sound evolve from front to back chronologically that's a great thing to listen to so you can get to know us more um we've also got some random singles we've got a cover coming out soon that we play normally live but we finally decided to record it we just did a split ep with two awesome north carolina bands weymouth and leaving for arizona our song is called ankle deep we decided to kind of do like a poppy kind of joyce Manorish sounding song um so if you're into that uh check that out otherwise you know um support your local scene North Carolina scene is absolutely popping, whether it be emo, pop punk, hardcore, whatever the case may be. We've got awesome stuff going on here. And, uh, you know, if you want some spice in your life, you want an all POC band, you know, check us out. That makes yeah. it kind of different. Hell yeah. yeah. Love it. Hell yeah. yeah. Thanks so much for hanging out with us. Everybody, make sure you go check out Condado. Uh, go see them at the Bar Down Breakfast and uh, everywhere else Thank that they're going to be. So go follow them. Yeah. Go go do all that good stuff. We shared your links in our on a Twitch, and uh, yeah, thanks Appreciate so much it. for hanging out. This ten minutes goes by so quick. It is, yeah, yeah, it really does. But you can catch like however long our set's supposed to be at the festival on day two. We'll rip it. Come talk to us. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Well, thanks a lot. We'll see you all if you're interested in hanging out. Uh, you know. Hang out. I'm sorry. I was looking at the chat. Brick, brick fest. That's, I said that, but, but I'm Minnesotan. Let it go. Let me. <laughs> I'm Minnesotan. Don't come come on. I I just say things fast. Breakfast. Breakfast. Brick. What what? <laughs> brick. Breakfast before breakfast. Yeah. Awesome. That, that do that too. <laughs> All right, y'all. Hang right. out. We'll see y'all later. Thank you. Hey, thank you. Bam. Awesome job, Pat. Two for two. Two for two. Hey, shh, give him, give him me a malarkey. Come on. Hey, look at me. I'm Minnesotan. If all you, right. If you're listening in post show, Pat's just getting <laughs> getting a little hurt because they're 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 dogging on his on his pronunciations in the in the Twitch chat, which you could be watching live at twitchtv punk, but you're not. So now I got to tell you it. So next time, come. So I don't have to reiterate what's going on. Bells are hard for Minnesotans, don't you know? <laughs> so true. So true. You know, I try to hide my uh, Minnesotan accent as much as possible. Uh, you know, try to give it more universal. Uh, but, you know, sometimes it slips. Uh, you know, you get sometimes you get, a, oh, oh, geez. Oh, sure. Vowels are long for us Minnesotans. It's true. I'm, we I'm... we do uh, O's fast, fast. Like the you know E's and A's. Hmm. It's a thing, you know. It is. It is. It's a it's a long thing. But... It's a long thing. <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay because this is the second uh, episode. It's the second <laughs> special. It's the second. And, and two is I think it's one. gone very well so oh, far. It's gone I think so well. We're basically professionals at this now. I mean, psh, we're the. I mean, th do you see this like this beautiful background that's just a picture behind the webcams? I mean, I'm not mm. saying anything, but I am. So well. It's beautiful. So beautiful. Well. You're a beautiful person, Matt. Well, thank you. You are just too. Want Pat. you know. All right, and who's next? That, who is next? Should we, should we bring our new our next friends in Pat? <laughs>
Oh, you pretty things. Going to bring w- way better questions than we ever asked on our podcast. Get out. <laughs> Bar down. Come on. Look. So, when, so before we actually get further, Matt watched uh, the interview I did with y'all. And I was t- telling him beforehand, I'm like, y'all, I'm, I know I'm from Minnesota, but I don't know very much about hockey. Like, at all. I enjoy hockey. You know, we do hockey here. But Matt's like, Phew. sounded like you knew hockey. I mean, and I was like, hey. You pulled the Wayne Gretzky. Uh, but that's, like, that's just a great true story. That's, that's a story. And you pulled <laughs> Fucking that. Wayne Gretzky! <laughs> I mean, I mean, if you tell, if, you, if, you're, if you're ever in doubt, those of you who, who don't understand, if you're ever in doubt and you need to go on a hockey slash pop punk themed themed seen pop podcast wow it's hockey slash pop punk theme podcast you pull out a wayne gretzky story oh, those boys they're just gonna better be true though they're, they're gonna better be, be true they're just gonna be head over heels in love with you they want to hear about now, the goat now here's the thing if you guys are interested in hearing about my wayne gretzky sco- story go check out my episode with the bar down breakdown you should go check it out it was a good time we talked uh hockey we talked pop punk you know talked to all the all the goods all the goods all the good goods and i i gave multiple embarrassing stories i wasn't there but i watched it later but he watched it and uh told and, me i did a good job he's like had... he's my he's my biggest he's one of my biggest like supporters I... so he's a if it's if it's not my wife, it is Matt messaging me going, you did so good. And I'm like, really? I felt like I was an ass. <laughs> I do. I do. It's important. Sure. It's important to support your friends. True. Support your friends. Support local music. Support local sports. That too. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you pretty things. Pulling them in. Pulling them right in. Right now. Ba-doom! Welcome oh, in. Wait, all right. Hello. Hello. Go. Gotta get that camera. You gotta out. turn your cam on, and then you're good. Oh no, we're stuck <laughs> in again. Oh, you got you. We know. We know. Just move it. Oh, now you're not sideways. Oh, Don't no. worry. You got this. You did it. Yay. Yes. Here? See, we oh, learned. Yeah. We learned while we're in the the general chat. Oh, you know goodness. of how. Uh, how to fix that so pat before yeah we... everybody's yeah. sharing tips of how to get through the wormhole yeah we were like tumbling <laughs> down the rabbit hole to get here and we've landed before you did it before we jump in pat can i just also give give pat a big shout out that he did some he did some troubleshooting with you guys without me look at him yes yeah. yeah. i'm so proud I mean, of you good job <laughs> i mean let's be fair okay here was the troubleshooting <laughs> they came in the camera was sideways. I'm like, are you on a phone? They're like, no, we're on a tablet. I said, have you tried turning it? And they turned it, and we're good. That was my troubleshooting. Wow. So, <laughs> I mean, it thank worked. Brought us you. here, so take, thank you. Take the thank W, you. Pat. Take thank the you. W. I'm, very, I'm proud of me. So. <laughs> <laughs> also, I, 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 I really enjoy your name. I'm, I'm glad it's not oiped. Because at first, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. That. Yeah. I, yeah, I was, was asking at, Pat, I was at, like, at first, me. he was like, What the heck is oiped? I'm like, What? <laughs> what does that mean? Oiped. I'm like, Oh, you pretty things. He's like, Oh my God. Oh, okay. Although okay. Oiped could be a very good, like, 80s British punk band. That's, that's, yeah, that's you know, our British alter ego band. I mean, maybe, okay. you're, maybe you're just a, maybe you're just a, a ACDC cover band. Just. Oh, it's oh. Cool. <laughs> well, I mean, it's cool. We only need to learn one song. Then. <laughs> Keep going. If you I mean, ever need a cover, if you ever need a cover, that's not inaccurate. So, <laughs> cool. Welcome in, well, guys. let's 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 get started here. So, why don't you give everybody a it's your first question? Give everybody a quick rundown about the band. Okay. Uh, we're, we're a five piece. Um, we say pop punk and alt rock. Someone said alt rock fusions, kind of everything from classic rock to blues rock to hardcore to pop punk. So many genres. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Mm -hmm. We all come from like unique backgrounds. So it kind of meshes into this kind of like, 
whole vibey. Yeah. Shit, you know? Whatever we feel like we play. Uh, we're you based just, in Charlotte, North Carolina. We're all, I think you're the only one that's somewhat local. So yeah. we all ended up from other places meeting in Charlotte and technically started by playing D and D with this one was like, Hey, you want to join a band? Yeah, I'll join a band. And then all the pieces fell together. And now here we are. So I that have, is, that's the best. I have to ask you, <laughs> Pat, you I, became a band because you were a band of, yeah. you know, in your, in your, your, your D and D troop. Is this the case? We yeah. We've been playing D and D every Wednesday for seven years. Yeah. So that's And amazing. then COVID, we went virtual, and it yep. was a lot of screen time like this. But hey, yeah. got to make it work. So is the band still part of the campaign then? Are you? Uh, yeah, three three fifths of the band are in the weekly campaign. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, quickly, what are each of your classes and race? Okay. Forever DM. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Our forever DM. He has jumped around, and we definitely always incorporate NPCs to make him play some characters. Yeah. Um, I currently am about to join this campaign. We haven't introduced my character yet, but I'm going to be a Warforge. But I typically lean towards a Warlock, and I usually yeah. go Hexblade. Okay. And Travis, I don't think Travis, have you ever I don't played? Play and you yeah, are, yeah. You're not in the game. Okay, get out, get out, get out. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You're good. Cool to be a nerd like the rest of us. Like, I'm too cool. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I love it. You are tasked with explaining what emo is to someone who's never heard it. How do you describe it? Uh... Oh boy. Okay. Just people yelling really loud into a mic and crying while playing heavy guitar. Ooh. Um every emotion that people are too afraid to talk about in mainstream music released, whether that makes you want to scream or cry or dance around. That's good. It really makes you feel something. Yeah. yeah. It Love pulls it. out your emotions. Yes. Oh. That is. Got it. I mean, that's very Got accurate. Him. <laughs> Got him. Just connected. I love there it. There it is. Oh. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. <laughs> <laughs> what is the story behind your name? Um, I, I'll tell that. I'll tell that one because yeah. that was it, it happened to me. Um, yeah. I was driving home after writing or practice between me and her. And, uh, I don't know, was Paul part of the practice job? Not yet. Okay, so yeah, it was just me and her still. And we were really going back and forth of what our name was going to be and all this stuff. And nothing was really clicking. And then one day on the way home, I was listening to um, Oh, You Pretty Thing by David Bowie. And I had never heard that song before. Uh, and the, 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 the transition from the verse to the chorus is so unexpected <laughs> that I was just like, Oh holy fuck! This is our name. I was like, "What's the name of the song?" It's like, "Oh, you pretty things." I was like, "Yeah, that's our fucking name." And I just texted her. I was like, uh, "I think this should be our name." And that was it. Yeah, I already loved that song and was like a Bowie fan. And when he said that, I was like, "Oh yeah." Yeah, I've been like a... that. It just feels right. I've always been a Bowie fan. Like I watched Labyrinth as a kid and, and all that stuff, and you know, uh, all the songs and shit. But um, uh. That was uh, that was the first time that it was like okay yeah no this is because that's kind of like what our music is it's kind of yeah. like a left hook to the face which is really what we yeah. want it to be it's like yeah. oh we're you know we're leading you over here and then pop yeah you may expect us to sound one way and then we go the complete opposite direction yeah, yeah. You always try to love it on your toes right we call it musical blue balls yeah <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> all right <laughs> your your band has made it big and now Hollywood wants to make a movie about you. Who's the cast? Oh, what? Oh, oh Lord. No. Um, I've got, I get a lot of times I get Pete Davidson or um, oh, TJ, TJ Miller. Is that his name? The guy from Deadpool. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, sure. um, so either one of those yeah, will yeah. work for me. I, I feel like I'm the comedic levity too of the band. So it yeah. kind of makes sense. Yes. Who would be yours? Scarlett Johansson. I don't know. I feel like she's like the only one that can pull off crazy colored hair. Okay. I was like, I have no idea. Okay. I mean, who can yeah. do crazy colored hair? Uh, 
the yeah, but it'd still be, it'd still Margot be Robbie. <laughs> nah, Mar- it'd be the it'd be the front of our band. No, she's too she's Barbie, bro. She is Barbie. Well, she's, no. al- <laughs> she's also Harley Quinn. <laughs> she is also Harley Quinn. This is very true. Yeah. She's very versatile. Yeah, that woman is. can act. That's for yeah. sure. Mm-hmm. Oh, love Robbie. I since you're in your spot. I see. Yeah. Uh, uh, Mine would have to be like the emo Peter Parker. Oh, yeah. um, Toby Maguire. Yeah. Toby Maguire. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> yes. Yes. Be- Specifically, like emo Spider-Man, circa 2000, whatever year that movie came out. That specific is you. Who's uh, who plays Ramona in um, Scott Pilgrim? Oh, I can't think of the oh, name. Yeah. Uh, it's, it has a really intense last name, but yeah. You'd be good too, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I can't think. I can't think of her name. Mary that... Elizabeth Winston. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got nice. our panelists and experts off to the side to <laughs> answer to all of our questions. In case we Perfect. Get stuck. You just so you just you haven't actually answered any of your questions. It's just being <laughs> no, they're just feeding us answers. Yeah. yeah. You know, okay. I mean, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. That's the, like these aren't headphones, so I can hear you. People are just feeding me questions. <laughs> well, I don't know. What, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. One more time. I what was that? that? What was that? <laughs> I am a Toys R Us kid. That, okay. Yep. I, I am. <laughs> what about your other? You said you had uh, five members total, right? Yeah. yeah. Who, what, who else we got? Yeah. Who else we got in the movie? Who else is being well, cast? And currently, we do have six, so we would have yes. to find. A, we would have to find. Uh, like an actor for our old drummer who's still currently drumming with us. He's transitioning <laughs> out. We're in a transitional period. Eric mm. would be uh who the fuck would play Eric? Oh my god. Robbie is Matt Damon? No, no. Robbie <laughs> is <laughs> Matt Damon. Matt Damon. <laughs> Paul Paul would be Oh, uh, Paul would be um, the doctor, one of the doctors. Uh, what the fuck is uh, his name? David Tennant? David Tennant. Uh, oh, yeah. I was like, David Doc Tennant. Brown. Right. Oh, okay. Is that, yeah, I don't know. Doc Brown. Doc Brown. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is Christopher Lloyd? <laughs> and he's not no, here to say Robbie, no. I Dude, this is a hard, this is a really difficult question. Right. Yeah. We're, uh, uh, we're, I mean, we're serious journalists. Obviously. You know? I guess this is the deep dive shit. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Eric, Colin Farrell, and, okay. and, um, and Robbie. I want to say Robbie is like. Oh, 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 oh. The kid from. Uh, Hold on. The kid from, the kid from. God damn it. What's that <laughs> movie? The Gentleman. Oh. The the young kid, the younger one, the Kingsman, the Kingsman, the young oh. kid from the Kingsman. Oh, yeah, I don't. Okay, Karen mm-hmm. Eckerton. Thank you, yeah. panel of judges. <laughs> <laughs> They're coming in clutch to this interview. Yeah, coming in clutch. All right, we only, we're at, we're running qu- uh, low on time here, so we're gonna move on to this next one. What yeah. is your your favorite food before a show? <laughs> we do have so far a running tradition of just eating somewhere local if it's out of Charlotte. Like we always try to find a good like local spot to hit up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm an old man and have to take fiber, so I take fiber <laughs> before every show. Love it, love it. <laughs> not, it's not the one I want to take, but it's the one, uh, the one I always take. Man, um. I will maybe not always to eat before, but I will always have hot tea. Like I will always make yeah, hot sure. tea or like hot toddy, depending on where we are, what's going on. Like nice. that is always included, no matter what the meal is. It could be like a buffalo chicken sammy, and I'm yeah. gonna have my hot tea. Like we're gonna make it work. Travis did mention that we always have between me and Callie. There's always a bag of Doritos around. Yeah. Yeah. like literally, literally, literally a bag of Doritos. <laughs> <laughs> But so, we're yeah. always snacking. That's an easy choice, too. So we got Doritos, Metamucil, and hot tea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's the secret right Essentials. Here. Pre-show essentials. <laughs> Love it. For any band, now. For any band, yeah. There I you mean, go. I mean, I... 
I mean, after this, I might have to be. Go, I might have to go buy some Metamucil. I mean, I feel like that's a that's a hack I'm right there. I'm telling you, dude, it changed my life <laughs> forever. Oh. I think me and Matt are probably at that point. Yeah, now, well, so. I'm sure we are. <laughs> Panel of judge. Yeah, they agree too. I. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> good, yeah. Good, that, good. Yep. Metamucil. So you mentioned that you always go to someplace local. Um, when you're when you're out of Charlotte, if you had a choice for any band, what's your dream tour lineup? Ooh, fuck. Oh. Paramore. Yeah, yes. For sure. Okay. Yes. Pa- yes. Paramore heading. We're opening for who in the middle? Oh no. Uh, 1994. I'm probably wrong on this year. 1994, no doubt. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I think you're tragic. probably wrong tragic on that Kingdom, time. No doubt. Yeah, okay. I think okay. you're you're thinking like Tragic Kingdom, no doubt. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I yes. think that exactly. I think that's actually nine. You're not out that far off. I think that's 92, like ninety six. I think it's ninety six. Is it ninety six? Can we okay, ask? Okay. The, can we okay. ask the panel of judges what year that came out? Was that? 96? Yes. Ninety six. Ninety six. Consulting. Uh, hey. Can you tell me? <laughs> um, yeah, definitely Paramore. Definitely 95. early ninety-five. There it is. Early era, no doubt. Yeah. Um. Still, still a touring band, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Turnstile's pretty fucking dope. I do love Turnstile. See, be- I just listen to so much music in every genre that there's so many names running through my head right now that I would love to grace a stage with. Some older, like, Flyleaf. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Flyleaf. Mm. Yeah. Man. I'm just, I'm just glad right now that we have Christopher Lloyd in your band to get you, <laughs> yeah. get you the, Lloyd. Get you get the artist Brown. from back. He, he, he is a key member. Um, definitely kicking it behind Point the... Point what, the... Jiggle what? Sorry. Yeah, exactly. yeah. yeah. totally playing drums. <laughs> Going. That's what powers him. <laughs> the jig- all the gigawatts power him? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Matt, do we kill you? Okay. <laughs> I, almost, um... I almost lost it all over the floor, and I didn't want to... I, no. I didn't want strawberry hibiscus truly all over the floor. Oh, oh, powered, oh, powered by Jigawas. All right, we are hard. we are out of time. Uh, right. So, let everybody know before you go why they should be listening to your band. Share your links where they can find you and all that good stuff. Um, they should be listening to our band. Uh, I'm never gonna say anyone should listen to our band for any reason. They can do whatever the fuck they want. Uh, we like to make music that connects with people. If you like our music. That's awesome. We love to see people at shows. We yes. love to see people singing the lyric back to us. Um, you know, we do it for ourselves, but, you know, there's also a component that we do it for everybody else. Yeah. Um, Our key motto is fuck around and find out. Yeah, we always have uh, fun on stage. That's the that's the key thing. Yes. yes. Uh, and then you can find us on every social media. Most of our handles are OYPT Music. Oipt. Oipt Music. Oipt. 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 Um, uh, and then we're on Spotify, uh, all the streaming services, everything. Yes. Uh, we'll be stepping up our band camp stuff soon, and we got a single coming out within the next two months or so. Hopefully, very, we'll very get the music soon. Video done. Nice. Very Thank exciting. you for having nice. us. Thank we greatly appreciate so getting to talk to you guys. Thank you for hanging out with us. This was a lot of fun. Ten minutes goes just too dang fast. Yes. Um yes. But yeah, make sure everybody, everybody listening, watching, make sure you go check out Oipt Music. Follow them everywhere. Oh, you pretty things. Check them out at the Break Fest. Did I do it right? The Break Fest. Fest. All right. Yeah. Make sure you go follow them, listen to them, get, all, get it all ready so when you go see them at the fest, you're going to sing along. I want to scream in your face. Yes. Scream back at scream. me. Scream in the face. <laughs> Hell yeah. I was going to say, no, nope, not going to say it. Okay. Uh, but yes. Okay. See you later. <laughs> we'll chat with y'all later. Have a good rest. Great weekend. Yeah. You too, you too man. Good weekend. See ya.
Pat. You're, I did it. You're, you're killing yeah, it. Yeah, three for three. Ball. I'm killing it. You know how much I did it so good. I did it so good. Do you know how much easier it is when I just have to worry about OBS? Yeah. As it's so hey, nice. Hey, if I had known that it was this easy <laughs> to just be pulling people in, and I'd be pulling people like, hey, I want to hang out with you and just and just start pulling them into chats. Well, Pat, I didn't we know are, I could do that. We are halfway through, which means we are on truly number two. Number two, grow up, bud. Do you know that this is also? Oh, it's too far away. That oh, that's there, that, that. That that says <laughs> that, that. Yeah, we're not going to reach for that. We, you ain't paying for that. That's on the Patreon. But the Patreon gets to see more <laughs> of the balloon. If you want to see more of the balloon, go to that link in chat. If you're not in <laughs> chat, <laughs> I guess we're gonna have to post the balloon in, in the. In, Patreon. You'll have to like post a picture of it in the Patreon or <laughs> a something. A scantily clad balloon. You don't know. If you don't follow that link and go to Patreon, and if you're watching it after the fact, it'll be in the, the show notes or whatever. Yeah, it's it'll be in the description. And you can click at all of our links. All of our links are there. All of them. Including Patreon. Oh, Matt, you know what we should tell them about? What should we tell them about, Pat? Our shirts. We should tell them we about should. the shirt. Because it's a special month. It is. You know what month it we're is? We're selling a special thing. Matt, give them, give them the, uh, give them your spiel. Oh Do you remember God. it? Um, yes, of course I remember it, Pat. <laughs> Hello, Twitch friends. Hello, Spotify <laughs> friends. Hello, Apple Music friends. Hello, Apple Music, Apple Podcast friends. Hello, YouTube. Hello, everyone that has ever listened to this podcast from this day forward. You know as well as I know that June is a very special month because mm-hmm. of this Pride Month. And Pride is fucking incredible. What we have is, and unfortunately we don't have one. I can't show it to you, but we have. Hold up! Sh- wait. Oh, hold up! We can. So I should have been more prepared. Oh my! But goodness. I actually have one. We have one. So and hold as up. you see here, I just unplugged Pat- myself. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> we are professionals here at the. <laughs> I will. Tr- we are. Hold on. We are professional. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. All right. <laughs> I don't know why I clapped, but future Pat, cut that part out. All right. So, as you see here, we have a shirt called Gender Equality is Dope as Fuck. And that fuck is censored. So, if you're a child, you can wear that to school. But I didn't tell you that, so don't... You, I can't quote me. That's off the record. But 15% of that shirt right there goes to the Trevor Project. And if you've never heard of the Trevor Project, the Trevor Project um, has a mission to end suicide among LGBTQ lives. Uh, Young Lives, so their goal and their hope with their company is to help give young LGBTQ individuals, you know, the resources they need so they can help end um, suicide among young lives. So 15% of that shirt that Pat just showed um, goes to that fund. We have more colors than just that. That's our brown one. Was that brown or green? That was green. That was the green one. Green. We have green. We have maroon. I don't remember what other colors we have. Or if we have any other colors. Those but are the two. We have two right now. We have two colors. And two chances. So you can buy two. And 15% of each one goes to that Trevor Project. Hell yeah. How did I do, Pat? Matt, good job. Thank I you. did throw that on you. I didn't prep, prep you for that. So good job. I don't have my, my, my read. You did a really good job then. Thank you. If you didn't have your read in front of you. Cause, so now it's time. It's time. And we're going to bring in Never Home. Bring them on in. Bring them on in. Nick welcome Clock. In. Never home. Never home. Welcome in. Can you hear us? Can you see me and hear me? We can. Hear I can you. hear you. Cannot see you. I think you still have to turn on the cam. There it is. Welcome. Killing sorry it. Sorry about that, man. I'm so sorry for the technical stuff. I, <laughs> I literally got on at five, and I was like, "Man, I'm going to get all this straightened out way ahead of time. I won't have to worry about anything." <laughs> and then it comes time to join on my computer, and I can't turn on my mic or my camera. So okay. I'm on my it's phone. It's okay. Now. It's you, okay. That is that is the joys of learning Discord. Um, absolutely. Can I say you have exquisite drip right now? The the Bucky's hat and the Patagonia shirt. I love <laughs> I love this outfit right here. Thank you, man. I feel very like uh <laughs> this is like my Asheville, North Carolina cosplay. This is like what everyone in Asheville dresses like. I so <laughs> I feel like you're ready for like a the story so far show or something. 
I am. I'm ready for a story so far show at all times. <laughs> if, if I walk just, by one, I'm ready to go. Just in case. You just just randomly <laughs> walking by a story so far. You're ready. Uh, yes. That's that's the <laughs> best case scenario for me. I think I think right now you might have a better sh- shot at walking past like a no pressure show. Yeah, yeah, no kidding. Uh, they've been teasing that they're going to do some stuff or they're going to release a record here soon. A story so far. Yeah. And it's just like uh, I don't know what's going on with it, but he seems pretty preoccupied at the moment with uh, I, with no, no pressure. No pressure is pretty great. I was listening to it earlier today, so it's it's killer, man. I love it. Good shit. Well, yeah. time for your interview. So oh, let's no. let, let's start off. Um, <laughs> let's let's give you a good easy one to start with. All right, Matt. What is the easiest way to explain your band to a grandparent without being vague? Oh, man. Uh, Easy. Easy one. I've had to try to explain my band to my grandparents before, and it's impossible. Uh, Uh I would say um, it's like... uh, It's like... uh, Oh man, I, I don't think that that my grandparents or anybody's grandparents have like a frame of reference for what kind of like what pop punk is. So yeah, but as we're all getting older, I think that there's more and more grandparents that know what what like Blink 182 is. So I think uh, I, I guess I just hope that it's some young grandparents, and I'd say we're kind of like Blink 182. All right. <laughs> I don't know if that answers the question at all. I, but that's I fa- that's even... fair. Like the the thing is, is it's not like I, I was trolling you. It's not supposed to be easy. <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to be actually very <laughs> yeah, difficult sure. because it's well, like how it it the we wanted to do that question because it's like you always have like grandparents and stuff like oh what do you sound like be like well you don't fucking know oh, god I, <laughs> yep. I don't i don't know how to explain this to you it doesn't beat, sound like elvis no no we have drums so yeah. we're like yeah. the beatles basically yeah, yeah. well like the Be- <laughs> and that's the thing is that was the thing that we wanted to make sure that's why we put like in you can't be vague because like a lot of times you we will do that. People will just be like, "Oh, you know, it sounds like this just to get them to like just to get them off your off the back, you know." But uh no, we want like how would you actually describe it by by and be able to tell them pretty accurately what it's like. Uh, yeah, what? I I guess I would say I would say it's what your your generation would consider uh devil music we have drums and loud guitars <laughs> and uh nice. and i yell into a microphone so i don't think it would be up your alley but uh but you know like i said uh times are changing i heard i heard green day and blink on a classic rock station recently Oof. yep and i felt like that that gift from uh or that, that scene from Saving Private Ryan at the end where he just turns into like an old man right before your eyes. That's how I felt when that happened. And then you pooped yourself. Because you yes, just, well, you that's, a, so that's a regular occurrence. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> eh, it's understandable, understandable. With McDonald's, doing, oh, with McDonald's and other fast food restaurants doing all these different meals, like how they did the Cardi B and the Offset meal, what would mm-hmm. Never Home's meal be if I wanted to order it? Ooh, good question. Um... It would be a uh, it would be a Big Mac with double patties because those patties are way too small and that's uh, obvious they're okay. tiny, and uh, they remove that bullshit piece of bread in the middle because that doesn't need to be there, <laughs> and um, and then it would be two of the buckets of fries, not the large fry, but the bucket that's like ridiculously huge because we're going for quantity, like we're 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 trying to. Uh, Overdose on McDonald's with the Never Home meal. So, <laughs> and then a Diet Coke, a Diet Coke, a, a Diet Coke. Huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You want to go light on the beverage. <laughs> yeah, you don't want your calories to cut. You don't want to drink your calories. You don't want to drink your calories, man. You want to eat four thousand of them and then zero for your drink. <laughs> love it, I, love I, it. One, I'm not gonna lie to you. I 100% support that because, like, even me, like, I've got Mountain Dew, but it's like, you know, the zero calorie, you know, the zero. Because I don't want to drink my calories. That's same sucks. here, man. I agree. It's I say that as a joke, but that's seriously what I do when I go out and eat. I get the diet soda because it's like, 
you already feel gross when you're eating that. Mm -hmm. You don't need to compound it with what you're washing it down with. You know what I mean? At least you can kind of mitigate the damage. Fair enough. Right, right. Back, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll go back to uh, some, some music stuff. What is your favorite part of being in a band? Man, well, it's been a, it's, it's been a bit, uh, we have been kind of on hiatus for about four years now. We've been inactive. So it's, I'm having to kind of like relearn all those aspects and, and fall in love with it all over again. Nice. And, um, I would say it's just the community with, with my friends. I mean, I, the past four years, that's something I just haven't had. And, and we've been kind of separated from each other over, you know, then COVID happened and it was, you felt even more isolated. Mm -hmm. And it now just kind of seems like we're getting back to a place where the world's kind of normal, which is, it's not true, but it, you know, in a sense, it feels that way. It's and closer. so, yeah, yeah. And so I feel like um, I'm, I'm regaining the community that I kind of lost with the music scene. So um, it's just been awesome to reconnect with my bandmates, with other people that used to listen to our band and, and try to get this thing up and running again. It's not easy. We're, we're, buried by the algorithm in every way but we're trying it the algorithm buries everybody <laughs> yeah, yeah absolutely yeah. especially if you don't post for three years which we found out <laughs> true true <laughs> yeah what movie would would your ah, what movie would your music be the perfect soundtrack for Ooh, i like that question um man i would i would have to say I would have to say like an American Pie movie or something like that. Like that sounds nice. so cliche because we're a pop punk band, but it just goes hand in hand, you know? Yeah, I, that's okay. I guess that's what I kind of envision when I think about our music. So, uh, yeah. Is there is there a preference in American Pie movies? Because you can't have the same song <laughs> and eat in all the just movies. All of them. Which which one would yeah. you go with? Which movie or yeah. which song? Wh well, uh, song and movie. Okay, movie probably the OG because okay. it's it, it started out up here and it just never really went upward from there in that series. Uh, song wise, I would have to say, uh, man, it's weird because our music like fits the vibe of that, but our lyrics are all like uh, just about being really, really sad. So I don't know how it would work out in that movie. But I guess I'd have so, to say state line. Okay. So let me let me throw this your way. If you're going kind of sad then, let me let me throw out American wedding and here's why. Okay. Ooh, first okay. off first off American wedding, right? It, okay. It, it, it you're getting married is going downhill, right? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but no. But let me tell you why that movie had like I want to remind you of a scene in that movie that I think is probably the funniest scene in all of the movies. Okay, and, sure. And do you remember when you know Jim? He's he's trying he's trying real hard. He wants to impress on on uh, the wedding night. He mm -hmm. shaves the undercarriage. <laughs> yep tries to throw it away and it blows all over their wedding cake. <laughs> yes, I like, do remember that. Tell tell me that that's not classic. Yeah, Tur yeah, I changed you've swayed me. I changed my answer. I would like I would like our saddest song to be set to that to that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, slow-mo on that moment. Yeah. Um Absolutely. Actually, and I was I was wrong in case anybody in chat pulls this out as well. Um when uh, Stifler loses the ring on accident mm -hmm. and the dog eats it and yeah. then he quickly picks it up and she's like, what's that? Is it chocolate? And he put, you know, he's like, <laughs> and then he fucking eats it. And it's like, you naughty boy. And he's like, what's it taste? Tell me what it tastes like. It's, <laughs> it's like, it's like <laughs> tastes like grass or something like that. I don't remember what the line is, but that kills me every time. Man. Yes, that's that's a that's a great scene, um, <laughs> man. Yeah, our our new music sounds. We we are working on new stuff, and it sounds 
very dissimilar from our old stuff, but I, I would like to hear uh, I'd like to hear this more serious music we're working on in a scene like in a scene like that. That would be a very nice juxtaposition, I think. There you a go. real serious song with a scene like that. Anyway, I mean, I your, support your, it. your next your music video it could be eating yeah, the there you go. from the grass. <laughs> It just gets copyright claimed because we just put it to that scene from Amer- from American Wedding. <laughs> there you go. I mean, you just, you know, what's that? You just got to edit it by 10%, you know? Yeah, speed it up a little bit. There you go. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, what would you say is your biggest musical guilty pleasure? Ooh. Um... Man, I'm an unabashed lover of pop music. Um, I, I I listen to the radio. I, I listen to a lot of top forty stuff, and um, I am really big on stuff like uh, I'm a big fan of some of the like funk influence that's happening in pop music right now. Okay. So like like Dua Lipa and and stuff like that. That's just got like a really funky vibe to it. Very eighties. Um, okay, love it. Just pop music in general, man. I, I, there's some some good stuff happening right now. A lot of people would disagree, but uh, yeah, probably That's just okay. pop. Love it. All right, you got two minutes left. Let everyone know okay. uh, why they should be listening to your band. Share your links. Where can they find you? All that. Okay. Um, yeah. On a serious note, uh, we like I said, we have been away for a while. We're trying to come back and, and do what we love again. Um, so it would mean a lot if anybody checked out even one of our songs. Uh, we, I think, are for, for fans of bands like um, The Wonder Years, uh, The Dangerous Summer, Amberlin, more of that emo tinge kind of side of pop punk. That's that's kind of our wheelhouse. So if you're a fan of those bands, uh, we would really appreciate it if you gave us a chance. Um, we are working on new stuff, and we are almost finished with our second EP. Uh, and you can find us online at, at NeverHomeNC is all our social media links. Um, and yeah, Spotify, Apple Music, all of that good stuff. We're, we're hoping to have some more stuff to show you soon. Awesome. We will have more stuff to show you soon. Hell yeah. Awesome. Well, we're glad you're back. Uh, make sure everybody go check them out. The Break Fast. Uh, the Break Fest. See, I just keep winding it like you just, just <laughs> fast, zoom fast, together fast, with fast. it. But it's all you know, good, man. Fe- I know. Break Fest. Uh, go check them out at the Break Fest and uh, g- give them a follow on all their social medias. Check them out. Uh, stream the shit out of them. Uh, yeah. And then there'll be more things to stream. So, dude, yeah. thanks so much for hanging out with us. We're glad you uh, could make it and yeah. you could figure out Discord with us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah man we got great. there thank you so much for having me i really do appreciate it guys hell yeah uh we are look forward to seeing you at, at the uh, at the fest so yes extremely stoked for it hell yeah well we will chat with you later thanks again bye guys Bam. You, you're loving that aren't you pat you know it's just trying to find the um the the good um when to let it go and when like are you gonna say one more thing are you not you know the power. it's just trying the power. to find a rhythm it's power you're like and it's cats. and i really like the power though yeah, it's like thundercats over here i really like having captain that power planet. captain um, planet you're collecting all the rings and you're sending them back to the general chat <laughs> so we got two left two we're left. on the home stretch here it's been a lot of fun super stoked um yeah, so next we have Wasteoid, and that's going to be a good old time. How are you doing, Matt? I'm great. I got You're doing great? Bad. I'm great. <laughs> I got my Truly. Oh, good. All right. Speaking of Truly, bring in Wasteoid. Oh, shit. They got me. Oh, we got him. <laughs> we got him. We got him. <laughs> we got him. Welcome in. We need your... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Matt, bring him in. Get the frick back here. Get back here. <laughs> you can't run from can us. Hear me? We can hear you. We just need your camera. Oh, the camera's coming. There it is. There we go. What a beautiful background. <laughs> now we can't hear you. You got to hit no. unmute quick. You muted yourself. Cool. Yeah. Can you all hear me? Yep. I can hear you now. Yeah. Good. 
we pulled yeah, you was, in, was, and you're like, oh, crap, they, you're like, oh, crap, they got me, and then you, like, disappeared, me. and I was like, no, get back here. Get back here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? Not bad, man. Uh, how are y'all doing? Good. Been good. Been good. You know, nice, having, nice. Lots of, having a lot of fun. Yeah, we've been, been having some fun in the little uh, uh, band band voice chat as well. It's been cool. Chat area, nice. Have, it, yeah. have it, any of y'all been watching the like or having the Twitch on in the side? Uh, some of us were, and then we got we kept uh, getting picked off, and we got nervous, so we just started talking to each other. So <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> They're coming for us. Oh my gosh! Yeah. No, we we uh, we equated it to that movie um, Unfriended. Do you remember that movie from a couple I years do. ago? Yeah. Yeah, the the horror movie based out of uh like a Zoom call. Yeah, that was a good <laughs> movie actually. Yeah, no, we were psyched on it. It was just like the the anxiety was um <laughs> was there, you know. It's even more ang- like anxiety ridden if you're if you don't have much of a concept of like the time <laughs> where you're at like like oh shit another another one's gone. Yeah. <laughs> They're gone. What do we do? <laughs> now all my circuits is just sitting in there by themselves. Just yeah. Doing just sad uh, sacks. Yeah, it's, it seems like um, Never Home uh, is dipped out too. So, yeah. Well, there are three of them. It was, it was only, it's only one of me right now. So that's fine. All right. Well, let's get into it. So now we're going we're, we're gonna to hit you with that some hard hitting questions. All right. Uh, first off, you are tasked. With explaining your band and music to Congress as accurately as possible, go. Damn, my my immediate answer is so incredibly dated, and it's not even dated in like <laughs> relative to my age. Just like something that Tipper Gore would hate. <laughs> Love it. I like it. I support yeah. it. Uh huh. Um. I support that. Yeah. Uh, to Congress, I would say it's loud. You might like it. You might not. You could. I don't know. I don't know y'all personally. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing a good job. Just keep, just keep, just don't give up. Uh, <laughs> They're about to vote think, for you. I, I think my. Oh, thanks. Uh, I think my 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 gas tank ran out. So <laughs> there you go, Congress. How do you like that? I like it. Suck it. <laughs> what is one thing from the early 2000s pop punk scene that you wish would make a comeback? Early 2000s pop punks. I really, really enjoyed back in the day. Um, early 2000s. I really enjoyed like early run for cover back in the day. That was like a very, um, that's like one of the things that got me into just like playing music in general. It was so, it was so simple and so catchy. Um, like maybe title fight, Tiger's Jaw, stuff like that. I really enjoy stuff like that. So it'd be nice to see a Tiger or a title fight album again. Yeah. Does that count? Yeah. Sure. Sure. Cool. Yeah. Good. I support it. <laughs> what I was, what I was thinking is I, I miss, you know, so, like sometimes I just really miss, you know, studded wristbands. <laughs> studded wristbands. That's yeah, a, remember that? that's a, yeah, that's a bold fashion statement for sure. Oh, I had that. For sure, no, I I couldn't pull it off, but yeah, that, that was a that was a strong fashion statement for sure. I, I, I think you could, I think you could do it. I think we could do it together. We could bring it back. French okay, French sure. For, for right now, we'll just go to Hot Topic. I know I don't have one with me, so well, we, we would have <laughs> I'm to, have to Amazon topic. Prime it. Yeah, or Amazon Prime. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's see, another fun question. We're gonna jump to a food question here. What is your favorite? What is a favorite food? That is now discontinued. Oh, now discontinued. That's. I'm not sure. Um, I mean, my favorite food groups are like Italian and Japanese. So I love pizza and sushi, of course. Discontinued. I don't think you can discontinue those. So <laughs> I, th- I think no. I, I think I have y'all beat there. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah. I. I mean, I guess I was thinking more along the lines of like you know something like. Dunkaroos, but then those came back. Uh, yeah, no, I'm I'm not sure. Um, icy Echo Coolers. 
<laughs> I do. I do have fond memories of playing uh, Halo Three and drinking Game Fuel whenever that came out. So, dude, Game Fuel. Yeah, Game Fuel was real tasty back in the day. So, I, I, I'll accept that. That that works. Game Fuel. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> if you were hired to rewrite the theme song for any show, what would it be and why? Mm, good question. So you're tasked. Your band is tasked. What's the what's the show? Um, Fear Factor, maybe. <laughs> I think Waste Away would do well with a Fear Factor theme song. Nice. I like that. that's a that's a good show. That's not even one you'd think of either. Yeah, I know. I just thought to think of the grossest show. <laughs> <laughs> the grossest all right, show. All right. <laughs> I mean, one of them for sure. Sure. No, Fear Factor. That was, was definitely had some yuck moments. Mm-hmm. Is a that was a good one though. That's a good. Uh, that's a good, that's a good that's choice. A good choice. What? Um, what's your favorite? What? Oh gosh, I'm looking at things wrong. What's your biggest unpopular musical opinion? Uh, good question. Um. I don't know. People people get on me for not liking neutral milk hotel, but I'm okay with that. <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> I think that's it. <laughs> I just don't really like that band. That's fun. But that that's fair. That's you fair. can like or dislike any music you want. That's the that's the l- joy of music. Totally. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just like people can like or not like waste wood and either way is fun. It it's true. I mean they should, but it's okay. I guess it's okay if they don't we'll let we'll support them anyway what different genre artist would you want to collaborate on a song with different genre for waste it yes yeah man um we were talking about um collaborating with a with a rapper um there's there's a couple there's a couple ideas that we had um i think I don't want to say uh, maybe it was Turnstile and Cities of Eve. Okay. Um, I don't know. It was like it was a really cool idea. Um, there's that there's that record that I Dress did with um, just several rappers that it was just really interesting. I think it's called Two Headed Goat. Okay. Um, I think we would try to get some rapper that we thought was really really cool and just kind of just kind of get that. Um, momentum going because i feel like wastewood does have hip-hop elements too at some in some points so. cool that i mean that's it, it's always fun to like ha, like try and get creative think outside of the box and like uh, collaborate with different artists and stuff yeah that that record in particular um that um I dress that two headed goat record. It has it has some really interesting musical ideas that I I'd never even thought of before. Um highly recommend checking it out if you haven't yet. I haven't. I'll have to check it out. It sounds cool. Matt, have you have you checked that out yet? I don't think so, no. I have not yet. All right. Well we will. We will. We will definitely cool. check it out. Um if you can't tell I'm slightly nervous now. No, but I'm being no worries. Man. Last questions. You're good. You're good. You're, you're fine. Like, I mean, yeah. we're we're just having fun. You know, we're just. We're just we're, I'm I'm about to ask you a really stupid question. Yeah, I mean, we're just drinking Trulies. Thank God. <laughs> yeah. So here here's your here's your really hard hitting question. You finally made the big time and can okay. guest star on any animated show. Which show would you choose? Animated show. If I had to pick any of them. Yeah. Like like active or inactive? Sure. Yeah. Active or inactive. I want to I want to be a character in King of the Hill. Nice. That would be so much fun. That is like they're, like they're super, remaking it. Yeah, I know. It's 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 interesting, but um the vibe of the show, it's uh it's very low key. Um you don't have to really say much. <laughs> you just get to hang out in the in um in their little world. It's cool. Nice. Yeah, I would pick King of the Hill. King of the Hill is such a great show. And oh yeah, arguably, total absolute comfort show. Arguably one of the best theme songs mm-hmm. ever. 
Oh, totally. I play that every time I sound check. If I'm not playing in a band, it's in drop D. There you go. Isn't that, it's uh, the refreshments, right? Yep. That's who did it. Right, right. I used to get them confused with the replacements, and then I got, yeah. became a really big replacement fan. So, if anyone hasn't heard or it, or either of you as well, one of that's one of my favorite albums of all time is the refreshments, fizzy fuzzy, big and buzzy. It really, is, like for real, like it is one of my favorite albums ever because i because i usually think of them as oh wait they're not the replacements they're that band that did the king of the hill song <laughs> yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna add that to my uh my playlist of the month Hell do it yeah. check I'm it gonna, out yeah fizzy fuzzy big and buzzy it's just an awesome record got it it's saved i'll be checking it out for sure oh yeah then you'll let me know what you think Hell yeah so matt I got, a, I got a serious question for you now, just like Pat did. <laughs> oh, come on, dude. I thought we were getting silly. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Trust I, me. I, it, I, it mean, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> if you could pick one musician to be a platonic roommate, who would you pick? You also have to share a room and have bunk beds. Who gets oh, God. Bunk? Um... Who's your musician? <laughs> Who's your musician roommate you're sharing? <laughs> I have like kind of a cop out question. It's okay. it's the guy from Manic Street Preachers that disappeared because I love that band, <laughs> but he's also missing. So that means I just have the house to myself. Dude, smart, <laughs> smart. I approve of it. I I approve of that because you know you want the room to yourself. You win either so, way. Well, um, no, I was just gonna say like it sucks that I uh, you know that's that's like a huge like. Huge mystery is what happened to that guy, but um, yeah, that, he's also my uh, hypothetical pick for a roommate. I mean, that's sad and fair at the same time. Who? Totally. Uh, so, would you take top or bottom bunk then? The, probably both, since he's not there. I could choose. <laughs> that's fair. That's, that's fair. fair. That's fair. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so, we got the last question for you, <clears throat> which is just let everybody know. Why they should be listening to Wastoid. You can share your links, where they can find you, all, all that good stuff. Yeah. Uh, why you should listen to Wastoid. Uh, if, you hear, if you hear a song you like, um, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you... If you enjoy Wastoid, I hope you listen to it to have fun. Mm -hmm. um, our Instagram is... VV, the it's it's uh wasteoid, but the the W is a, is two V's. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, that's really our only plug right now. We have a link tree in the um in the Instagram. We have a new album coming out, so yeah. Oh, yeah. If uh nice. if if you're uh down to have fun, I hope you have fun listening to Wasteoid. Um, and check us out on Instagram and then hit the link tree. So. Oh yeah, well we shared that link tree in the Twitch. Yeah. So everybody there can be click on it. You can also click out all the links and such in uh in the description if you're listening. Go check out Wastoid. Listen to them on Spotify. Follow them on Instagram so that you can like stay up to date with all the stuff they're doing. You don't want to miss out. And uh, make sure that when you're going to the fest, you're gonna go check them out. What day are you on? Day one or two? I believe we're on day one. I think we're the the starting band. Nice. All right. Well, there you go. Be there. Be early. Don't miss anything. Because it. it's, uh, it's going to be a ton of fun. Nice. Hell yeah. Well, thanks for hanging out with us. And thanks for having me. Uh, the, the rest of the Waste Doys want to be here, too, but they're all they're working for, for um, prepping for their next tour. Uh, half yeah. the band is in Dead Senate, so. Okay. who's also playing, actually. So, yeah. Well, there you go. Awesome. Well, you know, I mean, not everybody can have freedom all the time, so. <laughs> Yeah, Sometimes no, it's... you gotta work. Mm. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Well, yeah. Awesome. Thanks, y'all. Well, thanks again. Thanks for hanging out. We'll uh, we'll we'll chat with you later. Yeah, y'all take care. You as well. Awesome. Hell yep. Hell yep, as Linus would say. Hell yep. Happy birthday, Lewis. Oh, happy birthday, Lewis! I forgot. Are you gonna go to the show afterwards? I'm, I'm gonna try. We'll see when yeah, run out. We'll see. All right. Well, we only got one left. 
And uh, that is all my circuits. And let's just bring them on in. Why waste time? Let's bring them in. Do it. Pulled in. Oh, boy. You're welcome, Ben. All my circuits, can you hear us? I can hear you. Hi. Hey. We can't see. You got to turn on your cam still. There they are. Yes. Oh, man. Look at that lighting now. It's getting darker there. Yep. Looks good. That's a good light in there. Man. You know. Uh, uh, I got the equipment. <laughs> oh, okay. I mean that that that's good too. That's good too. <laughs> we had set up it's already getting too dark, so <laughs> welcome to our outdoor studio. I love it. I love it. How y'all been doing? We're good. Yeah, we had a killer time talking to all the other bands in the in the in the pregame. The lobby was popping. Hell yeah! Good, good. That's uh, that's what they were saying, and uh, the, you guys almost had like a little game out of it. Just be, <laughs> who who was getting uh, stolen next? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. Sucked in. Yeah, we, yeah, we coined the term "getting sucked in." Okay. Love it. Love it. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, because I mean, you know, we always we we're always expecting people are watching or like on on, on Twitch and stuff, so you kind of have like a generalized idea. But I think it'd be even more fun to have no idea and then all of a sudden somebody's just gone. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, shit. yeah. Like, oh shit! There goes Timmy! <laughs> we were talking about the uh, unfriended horror movie about mm-hmm. social media. That's yeah. that's what we were talking about. Love yep. it. Yeah. Also, Pat, Great movie. Pat, I think it's super cool also since we're everyone on this um, on this showcase is in the Bar Down Break Fest. Not yep. fat. Uh So you guys will all get to meet each other come Right. At the end of the month, you guys all get to now. You got to be like, "Hey, I I got to be part of that that horror yep. scene with you." Two yeah, weeks yeah. Ago. we <laughs> made it out alive. Oh my god, that's your bottom half. I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, you you all got uh, you know you get your you got this shared connection. There you go. Yeah, awesome. I love it. So all my circuits, I just want to make sure because I'm very very confident in this. But future Rama, correct? Of course. Okay. Yeah. The, I just had to make sure. That's what my <laughs> wife's favorite show of all time. So you I got a good wife. You, you should just been I, like, "What? Why?" I do. Just make him feel. All yeah. Weird. Like, well, what are you talking? <laughs> what are you about? talking about, Pat? I just like computers <laughs> and computer circuits, and I was <laughs> collecting them, and we made a band name about all of my circuits. Not just some of them, but all of them. <laughs> all of them. Uh, okay, so here we go. We're gonna let's we'll start it off with the uh, with the doozy. We're gonna have you explain your band and music to a super cute puppy who's excited to see you. Envision it. Uh, envision it. Yeah, you got it. You got, you got it. the you got the puppy talk, man. All right, we got Boogie. Uh, <laughs> Boogie's my boy. What kind of music Boogie like? Hey, Boog, do you wanna do you wanna hear something fun? But maybe the, the, the motif behind it is really sad. You know, it sounds it sounds happy, but most of the songs are not happy. I don't know. You're a good boy. <laughs> Boogie, do you ever think about love? Do you like absolute breakdowns and high energy major chord riffs? Oh, oh, we're, we have a star coming in. Sorry, guys. Sorry. We have I, had to get, I had to get a prop so we could figure this out. There, oh, hey, there you go. Now, t- now tell the puppy. Do you wanna do you wanna listen to something sweet, my 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 child? Do you have lots of high school <laughs> angst? But you're in your thirties. No. If you yeah, guys are watching, they are telling a cute puppy, a very fucking cute puppy. Boost your ratings, cute puppies. There you go. Oh my yeah. gosh. What's the dog, what's the puppy's name? Um, this one. He's checking for markings. <laughs> There's eight of them. So <laughs> There's seven. Oh. It's- <laughs> This one is Yondu. Yondu. I like it. <laughs> That's awesome. I was very I'm very happy that you guys were able to have a prop with you. Sorry. Uh, for I had that, to run. that was the perfect question. Oh, we got one for each question. Yes. <laughs> one puppy you, you, it's a good thing I sent you all the questions beforehand, right? We clearly. <laughs> Whole carrot top show. You know, Pat, when we were writing these questions, I didn't expect a band to have a cute puppy that they could then talk to. <laughs> It's a oh, good thing, like I said, it's a good thing we, we saved this loaded. last Believe me, let's go. <laughs> Give me all animal questions. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, that was our last animal question. For the okay. animal planet, well, a pop punk. Well, I guess, you know, I guess you could you could cast. So 
who would you cast as the as the band in a movie about your life lives? So all my oh. circuits, the the movie. Who's so the, all who's five it? of us, we gotta we gotta pick a star that represents us the most. Yep. Sure. Or you can just do you three, whatever you want to do. Oh man, I would want to do something off the cliff like David Cross. <laughs> he's he's bald. Yeah. You have long hair. Exactly. <laughs> he can wear a wig. Could wear a wig. That's true. That would be even That's better. True. Yeah. Oh my god, you can be H. John Benjamin. <laughs> no, I I see myself as like a. You know, he hasn't acted a lot, but like Phil Mickelson, the golfer, I get I get compared to him a lot. And Aaron Rodgers. Dave Bird. Oh, yeah. It's Lil Dicky. I'll, I'll take Lil Dicky. If you oh, know Lil Will Dickie, that's cool. and you watch Dave, they're, they're the same person. Uh, okay. Which I think, right. is a I think it's a compliment. You hope it's a compliment? <laughs> right. uh, Tony, I want to cast early 90s Michael Keaton. Oh, yeah. Young yeah. Keaton. Yeah, dude. Young Batman Keaton. Keaton. Ninety-three Batman. Batman. What about eighty, like eighty-three Val Kilmore? I'd go for it. We'll go for it. <laughs> All right. Hell yeah. Pre Saint post. Bat Keaton. Ice man. Yeah. Oh, ice. Yeah, ice man. <laughs> if you had the opportunity, okay, we're going back to animals. Apparently, if you had the opportunity right. to have any pet in the world other than a dog or a cat, what would it be? Man. I'll take an elephant. Okay. My uh, my wife is super into elephants, man. Like our house, like we have little figurines and like pillows and stuff, and I just think that would make her super happy. She'd be so stoked. So <laughs> this is tough because Tony and I both have our own little farms at home. Uh, okay. We've got cats and dogs and ferrets and rats and tarantulas and lizards and snakes. So I would pick something dragons. crazy like an ocelot. Yep. Oh, maybe like like uh, right. uh, capybara. Oh, great choice. Yeah. Ooh, that I don't is think a I know what an ocelot or a capybara. <laughs> a capybara is if you took a guinea pig and made it the size of a large breed dog. Oh, God. Yeah. But yeah. it's uh, it is like the only animal that like has no predators because nobody in the uh, uh, animal kingdom like like has any grudge toward it. Like, right. it's, yeah. like, it's, 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 nice... like it's the animal that sits on top of a hippo. It's the animal that like, like let's like, the mice ride its back. Like, it's the weirdest fucking thing. So sure. it's a because nothing can fit its mouth around it. <laughs> yeah, I watched an episode of, um, like, My Strange Addiction. Or addiction. not addiction, yeah, yeah. but, like, so it, was, it was one of those things. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and uh, yeah, it was all about this person that, like, was obsessed with it. Oh, yeah, I saw that one. She had a capybara that passed, and she just got a new one. Yeah, yeah. It, it, was, uh, yeah, it was causing her some problems. My strange obsession, maybe that's what it is? Yeah. Yeah, it, mm-hmm. yeah the end of the episode, she got it to sleep in the bed with her like she always yeah, wanted. Yeah, that's all she wanted, for to sleep in the bed with her. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. I'm, I'm glad we could connect with that. Absolutely. Yeah. Love it. <laughs> Let's see. Matt. This one. Oh no. Your vocalist <laughs> lost their it's voice. The hard one, boys. Your vocalist lost their voice, but the show must go on. Who's replacing them? It can be any singer you want. Oh, uh, they're your biggest fan and of all your songs. So it's either any one singer you want. Or anybody. Not somebody in the band. You're talking about like I can just recruit like yeah. Freddie anyone. Mercury. They're there. Brave. Yeah, they're just they're at the show. Who who's replacing you? I know who I want. To replace Jack specifically though. Yeah. Is it uh, Jeremy McKinnon? No, I want Eric Nally from Foxy Shazam. Oh. Uh, All right. Nice. I always thought, like, you know, when we started for the band, like, that was kind of what we modeled our sound after, I think, was, like, a day to remember. Like, we, we don't play that way anymore. Like, we don't have the heavier, you know, undertones to our stuff. But, like, a lot of people have been like, oh, yeah, he sounds like, like Jeremy. It's Jeremy, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Will would pick That's Claudio cool. Sanchez. <laughs> yeah, I, w- oh. I would pick Claudio so I could hang out with him. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good pick. Nice, I like that. He's got okay, the range. Oh wait, wait, wait! I want to change my answer. Obviously, it's Rory from Dayseeker. Okay. Okay. Oh lord. <laughs> yeah. 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 Sorry, that was obvious. Shit! <laughs> Jeez, almost, almost it, screwed it. that whole thing up right there. 
<laughs> Listen, ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't listened to Dayseeker yet, do it. Tony and I just saw them live, and they are magnificent. Absolutely nuts. Oh, but wow. Perfect. That's it's awesome. I, I've never crazy. seen them. Effortless. So we, we have a two-part question for you here. You have the opportunity to create the All My Circuits signature dish at your favorite fast food restaurant. What's the fast food place and what goes in the All My Circuits special? Uh, so we're going to bring back Fazoli's. Frizz- Fazoli's, yeah. Oh. Drive-thru yeah. Uh, Drive through Italian. Yeah. All My Circuits. Didn't they have you like a spaghetti pizza? It's a spaghetti. It's a spaghetti dish. You know, you think about circuits, you think about wires, you think, you know, it's a spaghetti. You know, it's a nice marinara, maybe a carbonara as a, as a side option if you, oh, want, yeah. if you want to sub your, your Some sauce. Some rich circuits. You, yes. <laughs> yeah, if you want, if you got a little bit of extra bang for your bucks. Some, um, some egg yolks, some bacon. Yeah. yeah. It's uh, it's either spaghetti or linguine. I, I, I'm a sucker for linguine. It's going to be heavy and it's going to make you feel great. Yep. But not put you to sleep. Right, and that's what we want to out of all our albums. <laughs> it's for you to feel full, feel heavy, but not be put to sleep. Yeah. Love it. Yep. If you were a contestant <laughs> on American, America's Got Talent or America's Idol, American Idol, what would your song choice be? Oh, boy. Blame. It's got to be something that shows our range. Oh, yeah. Kiss mm-hmm. from a Rose by Seal. Yeah, Kiss from a Rose. Yeah. Yeah. Wasn't I like that. that. Batman Forever. The Batman movie. Yeah. Batman the Forever. Batman. The ba- Bringing it no. back to Val Kilmer. <laughs> you know. Val no, Kilmer's really Batman. I, well, besides, I wouldn't, Don't I don't know up. if I would say that is the Batman movie, but yeah, <laughs> the, the, that's, was, a, that's a hot take. Is it a George Clooney Batman? <laughs> no, that was Batman and Robin. I like to prefer, and I know those movies are trash, but I like when I think of Batman, I think of I think of George Clooney. Him pulling out the fucking Bat card <laughs> with the Chris O'Donnell, like, come on, man, the suits up. Yeah. See these guys. That's, are... That came out with Val Kilmer, though. That was still the same director as Joe Schumacher. Yeah, but the, the George Clooney Batman is fun because Arnold Schwarzenegger as Mister Freeze is such yeah. a choice. <laughs> take, take Freeze, this. yeah. <laughs> Freeze. What was his wife's <laughs> name? He kept like screaming her name because he's like he's trying to bring his wife back, right? That's yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nora. Frozen. Nora. Nora. Yeah, I was gonna yeah. say Linda. <laughs> no, Nora. Yeah, I'm trying to think because I know he had like one other like super memorable quote in that, but take two of these and call me in the morning. It's the last line he had in the whole in the movie. Uh- <laughs> These guys are Batman, I'll tell you that. I don't know I love shit it. about I, su- I support Batman. this. Nerd. <laughs> All right, we got a couple uh we got a couple questions left. So this this is another fun and tough one. You're tasked with creating your own boy band out of any vocalists, dead or alive. What four do you choose? Scott Step. No, 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 that's not snap, dude. <laughs> We're bringing in the bangers. It's going to be Justin Bieber. It's going to be Bruno Mars. It's going to be Ed Sheeran. And then we're going to throw in... Uh, Scott uh, Stapp. What's, what's the... No, <laughs> Scott Stapp, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Harry Styles, dude. We don't need we don't need a Nick or a, a Brad from Backstreet or, or... Oh, Justin Timberlake would be good, though. Right. But I, I like modern stuff like Silk Sonic. Yeah. That's but why, I guess that's why less, less, less boy band, a little more. He can do anything. He can Bruno do Bruno anything. Mars can do anything he wants. What would happen if we put Michael Jackson and Bruno together? Oh, yeah. And Michael Jack. Well, it's for kids, though. It's. Yeah, no. <laughs> boy bands, I don't want. I Scrap mean, if it. you were going, if you're you're going that Bruno route, Mars. though, then it would, you would definitely want Michael Jackson, Justin Timberlake. Yeah, it's for kids. <laughs> and Bruno Mars. <laughs> Freddie and Mercury. And yeah, we call Mercury it the Neverland in Experience. that boy band. <laughs> what would you call it? The Neverland Experience. Oh, all right. It's horrible. <laughs> cut that, cut that, cut that, cut that. Cut that, cut that, cut that. <laughs> Hit the horn. Bring the puppy back. Bring the puppy back. <laughs> you all guys right. watch the OHI podcast? They always I do. Back. I don't watch it, but I listen to it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, pretty... my buddies watch it, and I, I just yeah. listen to it while I'm driving. It is... I, it's always sunny is probably my favorite show of all time. I actually quoted it today because I just do it in my everyday life. But I saw this. Uh, let's see if you guys get this. But I uh, 
I saw there was this like just semi truck just driving slowly straight at me. And I'm just sitting there just watching as he's just driving at me. And I go, and I just go, well, what do you say, boss? <laughs> you got, no. do you know what that one is? No. No. Oh my god. It's no idea. it's Give uh it's from the gang the gang does bogs where they're uh-huh. all drinking on the plane. Well, yeah, and, they're, uh, they're, 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 yeah, they're yeah, they're marking their beers. Yeah, and uh in D she keeps thinking it's Boss Hoss. And that's uh-huh. when she's like super drunk, and then Boss Hoss is like, Oh, we gotta get them Duke boys in. She goes, well, What do you say, boss? <laughs> You know, that would I be just, a great merch idea. I just think it's one of it, the funniest moments oh. in that entire show. Yeah. <laughs> I just love it. I'll never forget it. <laughs> Somebody, Bar Down, they said they, they did the Wade Boggs challenge at their bachelor party. That oh, shit. What is it, 72 sounds, beers? Yeah, 72. How, bar Down, how far did you get? I'm 13. They got they got past 20 beers. I mean, I mean, if it's an all day affair, maybe I could, I could house 20 beers, but that's tough. Yeah, you know, so Pat, Pat, you know, the, yeah. the bar down break fest is an all day event. Oh, 30 I'm, plus. They said 30 plus. I'm just saying that's crazy. I'm just saying. Look, it's 13 and I'm dead. Like I <laughs> yeah. will die. But I mean, even Charlie says in that episode, they, they get cut off. The, the plane's like, that's it. The Boggs crew is done. Cut off. And he goes, uh, he's like, oh my god. I can't stop drinking now. I might die. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know. Uh, but yeah, though they had to drink 72 beers from, like, a flight from, was it, like, uh, it was Philly. East Coast to West Coast, wasn't it? Yeah, East Coast to West Coast. So just whatever that six-hour flight or something like that. Yeah. So, and then go play baseball. Yeah, and then go play baseball. And then baseball. he had to go, what was it, three for four, three for five? Right. <laughs> baseball, baby. All right. Well, we got your, your last question here. You got a couple minutes left of your time. Let everybody know why they should be listening to all my circuits. Share your links, where they can find you, all that good stuff. Who wants to do it? Oh, you, you want me to do it? it. Yep, man. You got it. Yeah, I just think that, like, and this might sound weird, but in the past, so we released an EP a few months ago, maybe four or five months ago, and it was a lot of songs that we've been sitting on for a long time, but, like... It was in November, by the oh, way. Sorry, yeah, about six months. <laughs> um, but there were songs that we wrote, you know, for ourselves, and I think that a lot of artists, I don't know, I, I, I just really like those songs, and I don't think that we wrote them because you know, somebody else might think they're cool or that, you know, oh, this one's so technical or this one's so heavy or this one's so, and whatever it was, it was just, there were songs that we thought that we really liked and, and the messages behind them. Yeah, um, I mean, even, even if our EP is short, but I don't think any two songs were alike either. They're kind of mm-hmm. bouncing around mm-hmm. all the different genres or yeah, personalities so we, in the band and we stuff. We have a lot of influences. We like a lot of music. And I, at the end of the day, we're we're writing stuff that we like to play and we like to hear. So I think as we span multiple genres, there's something in there for everybody. There's there's fun songs. There's heartfelt songs. Um, a lot of good vibes. And uh, yeah. But you can find us on, uh, I mean, we, we have a TikTok. We're not super active on it, but generally Instagram and Facebook, all my circuits, NC, I believe. Mm-hmm. Is yeah. the tag for everything that we do. Um, we're playing out less and less uh, just because, you know, our singer just had a baby. So, okay. you know, big ups to the link. Um, um, we got a little baby boy. A bunch of family guys. Uh, not like this show. I mean, the al- <laughs> I mean, the album is called Worth the Wait because it took so long. Because, I mean, in the top- from writing to p- putting out the album, you got married. Brandon yeah. got married. Jack got married. Brandon had a kid. Uh, Jack had a kid. I got engaged. Yeah. Like. I mean, it takes, we all, we're growing. We, we just, you know, we, family life takes over our, you know, but we, we enjoy being around each other. Like it keeps us together, you yeah. know? So that's and why. And it's fun stuff. Like, yeah, just go check it out. It'll be, uh, you know, I think there's something for everyone. Like you said, yeah, sure. you can find us on YouTube, Spotify, iTunes, Amazon music, uh, music. 
oh my goodness, I'm old. <laughs> Apple Music, guys. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Pirate us on um, the dark web. It's out there. Pirate Bay. All right. <laughs> Find us on Pirate Bay. Nice. <laughs> I uploaded it personally. There you go. Are you, are you the last one there? Right. Yeah. Where is he? You are the tourist seed. There you go. If, you're, if you're watching live on Twitch, I threw their link tree in the chat. So make sure to hit that link oh, tree. Thanks, I, I'm assuming that yeah. all your links are current in there. So Yeah, yeah for sure. And we're going to be doing a merch sale soon. Um, we have lower inventory than we normally do but we have two or three uh different shirts and uh poster design up there so we're gonna be throwing a deal up in the next like week or two um so if you've been wanting to get something and you want to save a little cash um yeah follow us we'll uh we'll post about it in the next week or so absolutely we're uh we're trying really hard to be a diy shop we made our own shirt designs we printed them ourselves and uh we're gonna try try to keep that going for a while hell yeah hell yeah well, everybody, go check that out. Check out some merch. Make sure to give them a follow on Instagram and any other social media so you can know when that sale drops. Check out the tunes. Make sure to go see them at the fest. And, uh, guys, thanks for hanging out with us. Thank you. Of course, yeah. man. And will we meet you guys at the fest as well? We're, you know, we're so stoked to go. And we're we're hoping to get down there. We're we're up in Minnesota right now, so we're we're hoping to try and get there. But uh, we shall yeah. see. Yeah. Right. Hell yeah. So you you guys have a good weekend. Thank you. Thank you for your time. We'll chat with y'all later and uh, for sure. Have a good weekend. All right. Thanks, man. Play us out. We did it, Pat. We did it. Pat, we did it. it. This has been a good episode, a good time, a good special bar down. Thanks so much for hanging out with us all night on Twitch. Thank you so much for throwing this fest. Hell yeah. Thanks so much for all the bands that came Hell and hung yeah. out. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's awesome. This, did you guys have fun? We had fun. This was a good time. Uh, oh. We, it, it, everybody's got, is, like, 10 minutes goes by so fast. We have all, we have 60 questions written, like, ready to go. And we definitely don't get to all of them we skip a lot of questions we just go with those hard hitting yeah hard hitting questions those hard hard journalism hard journalism <laughs> the absolute waste once, down you, once you're journalism. done journalism what waste down journalism waste down journalism all right y'all once you're done here make sure you go get your tickets if you're in the area or feel like traveling all the way to uh north carolina go check out the fest bar down break fest it's going to be tons of fun there's going to be lots and lots of bands we just we just interviewed six of them um yeah we've we've interviewed eight total now of the fest but make sure you go check them out because there's more than just than the eight go check them out there's going to be tons of stuff we'll have links in the description uh, where you're listening to all these episodes. 24 total bands. Hell yeah. It's going to be awesome. Hell Two days. Yeah. Two Make sure days. you go get your tickets right now. Do it. Do it. Do it. This has been an awesome episode of Where Did All My Friends Go? The Showcase Special. Thanks for hanging out with us. Tons of fun. Matt, you got any last words? Uh, So, not goodbye. We love you so much. Thank you so much for checking out the show. Please hit that like, subscribe, or follow button so you never miss an episode. And thank you so much to those of you who already are. Check us out on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, YouTube, or anywhere else you stream your podcasts. If you're in the position to help us grow and like behind-the-scenes access and exclusive shows, head on over to our Patreon at www patreon.com slash unsigned pop punk let us know in the comments who you'd like to see on the show and what other content you'd like to see thank you all so much